Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so pleased that I'm able to deliver this message for the inaugural Responsible Business Live broadcast, that you have risen to the challenge of orchestrating your first virtual gathering in such style is by no means a surprise, for the Responsible Business Movement has always shown itself to be capable of meeting extraordinary challenges. For very nearly four decades, I've been adamant about the vital role that business has to play in communities. After all, that ambition was one of the foundation stones of business in the community itself back in 1982. At the time, we may not have had a global pandemic in mind, but in many ways, the National Business Response Network is the ultimate realization of the dream that we shared almost 40 years ago. I need hardly say how immensely grateful I am to every business leader who has had the courage to support it. I have no doubt that those who have done so have changed countless lives. Another founding principle of business in the community was the strength of leading by doing. This is why I appreciate so much the tireless work of my responsible business ambassadors in leading action and driving engagement across the United Kingdom. While expressing my warmest thanks to all of you, I particularly want to welcome the new business leaders who have accepted this role. Separately, each one of you achieves so much, but together you can be a powerful force. Led by my indomitable National Ambassador, Dame Vivian Hunt, you are in an ideal position to drive change at speed and scale. Now, I must say, although none of us could be certain of what the months ahead hold, one thing is not in doubt. We must ensure businesses and communities are able to build back better by putting urgently needed and genuinely, genuinely sustainable business practices at the heart of their operations as they begin to recover from this ghastly coronavirus pandemic. As members of Business in the Community's Responsible Business Network, you are uniquely placed to lead the charge on decarbonizing our economy as we rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. In this regard, I, I, I do so hope that you will be able to collaborate closely with my Sustainable Markets Initiative and its Secretariat in order to help demonstrate that the global private sector holds the key to solving the climate and biodiversity emergency we face. In particular, it has been an enormous pleasure to work with Jeremy Darroch, Business in the Community's Chairman. Jeremy's leadership has been exemplary, not just in his wise counsel throughout this last year, but in the focus and drive which he has given to this organisation in the past three years. Jeremy is a tireless advocate for responsible business and the need to make the world a fairer and more sustainable place. Now, if I may, I, I, I would like to end by welcoming Gavin Patterson as the new chairman of Business in the Community. I rather doubt that he knows quite what he has taken on especially with regard to the patron of business in the community, but I am delighted that he has accepted the role and I look forward to working with him. Ladies and gentlemen, the need for corporate social, environmental and financial responsibility has never been greater. I wish all of you the very best as you continue to make your contributions to the greatest challenges of our time.